Now, eFootball 2022, a feat of modern engineering, the pinnacle of sports gaming. I'll be totally honest, this game is shit. A total overall playing number of about 43 and a half. A version of Lionel Messi that looks as if it's come out of a printer. During 2021, I played this game a few times for YouTube videos. And each and every time, I was left baffled at how such a state of a game could end up getting released. However, now with the main patch of the game live, and Konami's version of Ultimate Team in place, I've decided I'm gonna come back to this game and play it again to give it its final chance. Is eFootball 2022 finally good? The colorway isn't, lads. Whilst you were doing the patch, you could have at least changed the color scheme. Also, big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this one. I'll tell you more about them though later in the video. Right, the first thing I've gotta do, allegedly, is play some training. I'm gonna show this game that I mean business. With other so with a firm amount of training in the book I feel like I'm now ready to take on this full game So let's see what it's saying Alright, hello, we've got a little trailer here The footballers actually look like footballers now I mean, it's quite clearly not accurate Because it's expecting Manchester United to be in the Champions League next season then It does look like an improvement in fairness And we've actually got like Ultimate Team S cards now With upgrades and stuff for players I mean, Marcus Rashford's gonna need a little bit more than just a few points, I think so it's now time for us to build our dream team. I don't know what this means. I should have read the information. Why? Wow. Genuinely, I've got 100,000 points as an apology from Konami. They acknowledge this game is so bad that I need financial compensation in-game. Bro, I've got quarter of a mil just for being it. This is way better than Ultimate Team. Imagine you just logged in to FIFA and you got 50,000 credits because the servers were down. You'd be a millionaire in two weeks. Oh no, okay. I am Liverpool, but I get random players. Right, and then using my credits I can sign the players that I want to my dream team. Okay. Hold up. Who forgot to get the picture of David Alaba then? I feel like it would be unwise for me to spend all of my money on like a singular player. Then again... <laughs> They've got the same name, bro. Andrew, Andrew Robertson. My winger is 44 overall. You might as well play the assistant manager, bro. Andy, big man. You're on a, he's 63 overall. I've been scammed. It's a scam. I'm realizing now my financial acumen has decreased here. Realistically, should I be getting an intro this dramatic for Anwar El Ghazi? So at this point, I'd assembled some good players and established that Cesc Fabregas still plays football. And I was ready to go and get into my first game. Right, I'm in Division 10. Say no more. Theoretically, I should be coming up against people who still play Candy Crush Saga on the weekend. I back myself. I know you don't need to talk about the games last time. I'm playing against Manchester United. See, exactly. This is gonna be simple. I've got Dante and Cesc Fabregas in the side, who have a combined age, along with Hatem Ben Arfa, of 312. So, so I've realised my goalkeeper's still an NPC. To be fair, an NPC at the heart of Manchester United's defence would do a better job than Harry Maguire. We've got kickoff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you can do one-touch passing now, boys. <laughs> That was a terrible touch. Andrew, on the move. I have a really bad feeling I'm not actually playing against the real person. The ball's in. Navani with the header. It's a great save. We're struggling it. <clears throat> yeah, no. Uh, I'm unaware as to whether I'm actually playing a real person or not. But whoever it is has slapped a ball past me. My esports credentials are starting to go out the window with a result like this, which is why... Oh, Adam Lallana's done his ankle in taking that strike. I'm not playing against the real person. I genuinely know that I'm not. There's not a football match in the world worse than the one you're seeing right here. In fact, I've got a little bit of a cheat code on how you can check that for yourself. And that's why today's video is sponsored by the lovely people over at Surfshark. Now, what is Surfshark? I hear you cry. Well, it's a VPN service that helps to keep you and your online identity safe. and allows you to change your device's location so that you can travel virtually. So picture this, yeah. There's a football clip that's going viral on Twitter. Your mates have sent it to you, your brother sent it to you, your nan sent it to you. She doesn't even watch football like that. But look at this, mate. It's geo-locked and you can't see it. And you are absolutely fuming. Well, with Surfshark, you can change the location of your device to somewhere where you're actually able to see whatever viral clip it is. And that applies to the world of live football as well. If you want to see the three o'clock kickoffs, you can change your location to America and watch those games live using the Peacock viewing service that costs about $5. You don't have to 
miss games now when you're away on a holiday, for example. You can just sack off your loved ones for the three o'clock games. Or if you want to see things that aren't available on the UK version of Netflix, once again, with just a few clicks, you could be on the American version of the site. Not only that, but Surfshark protects you and your online data to keep those pesky scammers away. If that hasn't convinced you already, Surfshark has a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can use code FNG to get 83% off as well as your first three months for free. There's literally no reason not to download it, and you can find the link down in the description below. Go and download it for yourself right now. <laughs> All right, Anwar El Ghazi, I'll apologize for not picking you up if you score here, son. What a goal, my lad. A six-year-old child has just burst into tears. Forget about the fact that we're not playing a real individual. Why am I surprised I'm not playing it against anyone? There's like four people online. I simply don't know how that wasn't given as a foul. And now he's actually thrown got. Andrew, no. I mean, the universe righted its wrongs there because he's he's committed vehicular manslaughter on the United Defender. However, he wasn't even under pressure. Right, Andrew, he's the reincarnation of the box. Hit it, son! Oh my, for a sec. The Pro Evo box is on a bit of a mad one here. I can't lie. <laughs> No, that's a good challenge, Doherty's off. Why has Doherty got such a massive bunda? He's been sent off because biologically his body makes no sense. The referee has seen the pure back off of this man and said that that cannot run around here. He was double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. I was like, damn nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Robertson, play El Ghazi again. Andrew's there for the square. It's not even Andrew, he's in the boat. El Ghazi's there. How have you put it over, son? I can't even lie. I'm still distracted by how rotund Matt Doherty's back was. He's gone BBL, bro. What a ball, by the way. Andrew's through again. He's against the... Nah, why did I think anything was going to happen? Him versus True Stekong. Bruce MD got past True Stekong more often than he did. It's 1-1. One, one. I don't know what this means. My players have leveled up. Calm. I think that means that I can upgrade them. Apparently, I only need three points for promotion. How are there still 43% of people in Division 10? Doherty suspended. Right, he's got to go. I know what this team has been missing. Direct Nigerian disappointment. Ola Aina, you're in sunshine. I'm signing you up. We're getting promoted today, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a good feeling about this one. Trust. The first game, that, that was, look, listen. That was just, you know, testing things out, working out the buttons again. We're back now and we're professionalized. Running off the field! <laughs> Look, I can explain. Oh, well, I've just been bicycle kicked for no reason. Ola Aina, I wouldn't have that. You've given him the ball back immediately. Oh, you can set the box through here. Oh, look at the turn on the shoulder. El Ghazi hit it, son. The keeper's out of his net. Okay, Ampadu's given that away. You can't do that when the Pro Evo box is around. He's through on goal. I don't know if I could do this, lads. Nah, put him down. Right, Dante's won that in the air. Why have you hit him? Why? You couldn't hit the target from a one-on-one. -on -one. I, I, oh my God, we've won it back again. These lot don't want to win. El Ghazi, you have to finish. Box, you have to There we go. That's what I'm talking about. An absolutely stunning piece of football. How are you giving a yellow card? He's literally got the ball. You've given him a foul because he's 48 years old. This is just age discrimination. The linesman's younger than Cesc Fabregas. Oh, I didn't mean to take it quickly. I didn't mean to take it. Oh, no. It's poor from your boy. I can't hardly oh, hit the bow. You see in this one-touch football here? A little back heel, you know. A 10 bit half is there. It's into the middle. <laughs> How do you even miss that, bro? All you have to do is use your foot effectively. He could have just bounced off you and gone in. Even by accident, you could have scored from there. You can't be missing chances like that at this level. And this is only level 10. It's literally the lowest level in the game. Oh, it's happened again, lads. I, did, I didn't mean for this to occur. Ben Arthur's only contribution to today's video is getting sent off. Oh, he's stolen that in a wonderful position. What a save! 
You know the goalkeeper diving for that is such a violation. And Robertson's won that. I mean, this is a glorious opportunity. Robertson. I'm actually bad at this game. Lads, no, I'm terrible. Put me down, me. RSPCA. Etta. That's not really what they do, is it? They, they do the opposite of that. Put me down into the final moments. We win the ball back. And that'll do it, lad. We have been promoted from possibly the easiest division in all of gaming history. Ben Arthur's just come back out, out of nowhere. You were sent off, big man. You're not allowed to celebrate. Says Fabregas is trying to work out what a mobile phone is. That then is going to wrap up today's video. Playing eFootball 2022 and it actually being pretty good. The face scans have improved. The graphics are better. The gameplay is a lot quicker. There's way less glitches. There's actual game modes on it now. If you want to give it a chance, I would recommend. But obviously, a lot of the damage has already been done. Because they put out a game that looked like it had been made in a year 9 ICT lesson. If you want to see me play this game again, then let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, though, feel free to slap a like on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. You can also follow me on social media. It is at OfficialFNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself and goodbye.